In the United Kingdom, the sales volume of fur has experienced a big decrease. Large department stores such as Selfridges and uh, famous designers like Stella McCartney and Vivian Westwood clearly indicate their rejection about fur products. On the other hand, since more and more consumers desire for things labeled as ethical and green, fur industry attempts to brand fur as sustainable. The British Fur Trade Association describes the material they use as a natural, renewable, and sustainable resource that is kind to the environment and respect to the animals. But this is not the truth. Because fur comes from different kinds of animals, it has a cycle of decay built into it. In order to prevent putrefaction, fur plants use a plethora of chemicals. These hazardous animals are harmful for wearers of fur and workers in processing plants. World Bank ranked fur dressing as one of the five worst industries for toxic and mental pollution. The Environmental Protection Agency in the U.S. has previously fined six fur processing plants for causing high levels of pollution using solvents in fur dressing, especially these plants often make chemicals leaking into waterways, which make devastating results to the world. And most of us saw stomach turning things at fur farms with overcrowded cages and terrified animals. Routine killing methods such as suffocation, gassing, and poisoning are really brutal. The battle has long raged between advocates of fur and those adv advising consumers to wear fake fur instead. However, fake fur is made from textiles like nylon and polyester which make hundreds of years to biodegrade and produce pollutants on an industrial scale. For the above reasons such as environmental issues and animal protection, I found that fur is more harmful than common textiles. Countries should execute strong policy that prohibit the use of both real and fake fur.